Filing for divorce is an emotional experience and can be complicated. It affects children, your finances, and your home. So you need to be protected. This overview explores divorce to support you and your loved ones when a marriage ends. And remember, you must fight for your rights or you will have no rights at all. Like life, divorce is not simple and there are many obstacles to overcome, but we will explore some of the more common hurdles, including child custody, alimony, and property. Child custody could be the most important agreement of divorce, and there are two types, legal and physical. Legal is the right of a parent to make important decisions, such as medical care and schooling, and physical dictates where the child would live and with whom. To avoid traumatic battles, a custody agreement out of court is often the best option, but when this is not possible, a judge decides. To make the decision, courts consider the fitness of each parent to care and provide, the relationship between each parent and child, and, if old enough, the child's opinion. A judge can award joint legal and physical custody or sole legal and physical custody to one parent and sometimes a mixture of the two. Alimony is the financial support of one spouse by the other to provide for the party who was supported during marriage. Spousal support is often a regular payment, but can also be a lump sum or the transfer of property. The downside to the latter options is that they can't be modified if circumstances change. Now, state laws differ, but a judge often has discretion to decide your right to alimony and the amount, taking into account your unique financial and family circumstances. Understanding your agreement is vital as it determines the circumstances for when payments may end. This could include if the spouse remarries, if either party passes, or if the supported spouse secures a high paying job. Fighting for what you believe is fair is your right, but ultimately the circumstances will influence the outcome. Property and debt must be divided when the marriage ends, and if a couple can't agree, a judge will rule under equitable distribution law. Now, although they will decide fairly, it may not be equal. There are two types of property to consider, marital and separate. Marital property has been bought after tying the knot and can be divided. Even if the property was bought by one individual, including a house with a sole deed holder, it is still marital property. Separate property is what each party individually owned or purchased before taking their vows. Courts will consider a number of factors to distribute property fairly, such as income, marriage duration, and children. It's important to note, divorce is governed by state law, not federal, and your rights will be determined by a judge. That does not mean you can't fight for your rights. If agreements cannot be made between you and your spouse, a lawyer can help you achieve a fair divorce. Hiring a lawyer may sound expensive, but with our mobile app and for less than a dollar a day, we open the door to experienced lawyers and the justice system. Protect your family. Protect your rights. Take five minutes to sign up and join the millions we already empower across North America. Legal Shield. Find your justice.